has effectively become Beijing new colony. Pakistanis politicians are turning to China NBC to resolve the <coughs> state internal political issue and they are asking Chinese to medi mediate between central government, provincial government, our dis uh, distribution of the resources in the way uh, that they have experienced after the, uh, under the British Raj. China has settled her border uh, dispute with all its neighbors except India. Many pundits and economists believe that India's economy growth will overtake China before 2035. Therefore, China would like to see India-Pakistan low-level low state of managed war continue to keep <coughs> India as a permanent loser in the international geopolitics. <coughs> the India and Pakistan state of the managed war situation will tie India down with Pakistan, allow Chinese economy to move ahead of the India permanently. One on the a state of the permanent managed war with Pakistan, India will not be able to compete with the China ec um, economically, militarily, in the Asia and the Middle East. India will not be able to challenge China on its long disputed land border and the China will settle its border dispute with India on her own chosen time and India will be in losing position. Impact on the China-Pakistan economy corridor has already changed Baluchistan demography and the ownership of the land in Gwadar. CPAC will turn the Baluch in a minority within half a decade in their historical homeland. And deprive the Baloch from the uh, land and limit the Baloch economic activity permanently. Pakistan <coughs> has been committing a genocide in Balochistan since 1948. The current mass killing in Balochistan is different from the massacre the state has committed in the past. The CPAC has brought the death displacement for the Baloch in Balochistan. Because of lack of foreign investment and a failed state, project like CPAC has economically benefit, economic ben has an economic benefit to corrupt a league. But many observers believe that CPAC is a military pro project and the water port will become Chinese Navy outpost that provide an energy security to China and enable China to encircle India and, and Beijing, Beijing will able to deploy its forces to the territory disputed <coughs> by India and Pakistan. In 2008, China refused to use its veto power in the United Nations Security Council to block sanction against the Jamiat Dawa, the front organization for uh, Lashkar Tayyeba. But Chinese has changed of heart. Last month, the Chinese has used its uh, the UN Security Council veto power to block a sanction against the Pakistani-based terrorist organization. It happened only last month, about four or five weeks ago. The Baluch struggle for independent Baluchistan is a homegrown. Pakistan has always blamed India. However, Pakistan <laughs> failed to produce ev evidence to back its claim. It has been reported that the Chinese said that China is willing to send the uh, Chinese forces to protect CPAC if the India interfere in Baluchistan. Chinese intelligence and military already based in Gwadar. They are collecting information 
and our seen security of the people in world. According to the observer, there are about 600 Chinese security personnel permanently based in Guadal. My conclusion, CPAC is a military project. CPAC will shift geopolitics into China's advantage. It is not only a threat to the India security, but it is also challenging the American interest in the Asia and Middle East. As we speak, Pakistan is a home to all kinds of terrorism and the state sponsored all kinds of terrorism. Chinese expansionist policy in land and sea claim is threatening all countries of the South and East China coast except North Korea. Right now, India has an advantage to remove the permanent threat a state of a threat of a state of war from its western bar, border and contain China's threat. Lower level managed war will exhaust India, India's manpower and resources. <coughs> India has to remove the threat from its western border. Right now, India has a lot of alliance against the Pakistan. Pakistan backed terrorism and Chinese expansionist policy in the South and East China. CPAC is an existential threat to the Baluch nation and India national security. The Chinese and Pakistanis present in Baluchistan should be resisted by all means. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Sajjo. The way you concluded that by the C 